Now, ending a four-day manhunt, the Canadian police on Wednesday arrested the second and the final suspect over the stabbing spree that has left at least about 10 people dead and has injured 18 others. Now, Miles San Sanderson, who was taken into custody in the town of Rosatern in Saskatchewan province at 3.30 p.m. local time, has now, according to police reports, died by what the police are describing as self-inflicted wounds right after he was arrested. But what they've not described is how was he able to inflict these wounds on himself, isn't it? Shortly after his arrest, he went into medical distress. Nearby, EMS were called by police to attend the scene, and he was transported to a hospital in Saskatoon. He was pronounced deceased at the hospital. According to the police officials, the arrest in fact took place after an alert was sent to the Canadian mobile phone users warning people to seek immediate shelter because a man armed with a knife had been seen driving in the area. Now, the authorities have also said that Miles Sanderson's vehicle was rammed by the police, after which he surrendered. The suspect vehicle was seen travelling south on Highway 11, south of Rostern. To ensure the safety of drivers on the highway, the vehicle was directed off the road and into a nearby ditch. Police officers surrounded the vehicle and through verbal identification, confirmed the identity of the driver to be Miles Sanderson. He was arrested by police and taken into custody. A knife was located inside the vehicle. Meanwhile, his brother and also the first suspect in the stabbing case, Damien Sanderson, was found dead outside of a house in James Smith Cree Nation that is now presently being examined. Now, according to the police, he had sustained injuries which were not self-inflicted. And they've expressed uncertainty over Damien Sanderson's death, saying that he could potentially have been killed by his brother, Miles Sanderson. The killings in Saskatchewan are said to be one of the deadliest incidents of mass violence in Canada. But what is interesting is that Canada has not dubbed these attacks and killings as an act of terror. Now, the family members of those who were killed in the incident have held a press conference in the Saskatchewan province where they remembered them as heroes and not as victims. Right, right outside of her home, she was killed by senseless acts. Her son, she was protecting her son. She was protecting these three little boys. This is why she's a hero. We don't know. And we want to leave it at that. We need the... We need the RCMP to do their work. We need to let we need to let the professionals do their work. And we need to support that work. We can't point fingers, we can't blame, we can't look down on people. We just gotta remember these were victims of a serious crime that's affected our family. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.